The Archbishop of Canterbury referred to the royals as human beings and urged people not to judge them as tensions rumble on with the Sussexes. Justin Welby made the plea during an interview with ITV's Good Morning Britain, GMB, where he said, We must not judge them, they are human beings. They must not be judged. They need to be prayed for and supported. His comments came against a backdrop of unease as Prince Harry returned to Britain this week, and celebrated his Invictus Games charity's 10th anniversary. None of his family came, but instead senior royals attended the first Buckingham Palace garden party of the season, just two miles away. It was confirmed by Harry's spokesperson earlier this week that the king would be too busy with planned engagements to meet with his son during his visit to the UK. Instead the Duke of Sussex was supported by members of the family from Princess Diana's side, including his uncle Earl Spencer and aunt Lady Jane Fellow. The Archbishop refused to confirm when talking to GMB whether any members of the royal family had spoken to him about a reconciliation. He said, I won't comment at all about conversations with the royal family. I just say to everyone, if you are someone who prays then pray for them because, you can't go wrong, and if you are somebody who doesn't pray, then pray for them because it can't do any harm and it might do some good. Harry's wife Meghan Markle chose not to accompany him back to London, as she has not been back to the UK for nearly two years. King Charles meanwhile was spotted with other senior members of the royal family, including the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh and Queen Camilla, for the first garden party of the season at the palace. Princess Anne and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester were also there to welcome thousands of invited guests to the palace grounds for tea in the sunshine. Prince William was unable to attend as he was busy at an investiture in Windsor, while Princess Kate is still off work as she recovers from cancer treatment. Palace sources have suggested that the Duke of Sussex had not formally requested a meeting, despite him articulating his keenness to see more of his family this year. He was joined at St. Paul's by several other dignitaries, politicians and close friends, including many other members of the Invictus family. His lawyer David Sherborne was in attendance while former army officer Mark Dyer, who acted as a mentor Harry particularly after his mother's death, was also in the congregation.